Boeing is no stranger when it comes to developing supersonic aircraft. During Concorde's phenomenal debut, Boeing was already working on two large transport prototypes. The 2707 would carry 292 passengers up to a speed of Mach 2.7 with a range of around 3,500 miles. But in 1971, a financial crisis along with a feasibility study caused the government to end its financial support for this ambitious project. This was a really pivotal point in history since it ended an important race in this new form of travel. The Concorde, as we all know, reigned the sky and nothing even came close to competing with its engineering and ingenuity. 50 years later, and we finally have multiple companies along with Boeing coming up with bold designs which exceed the speed of sound. Along with new technological innovation, we are likely to witness the official race to the fastest form of travel on Earth. So let's look at the top 7 supersonic transports in development. At number 7, the X-59. New supersonic aircraft will likely have to meet some noise and even emission requirements. This is a tricky thing because supersonic aircraft operate at higher cruise altitudes, typically above 50,000 feet in order to reduce heat and stress on the frame. But it also results in more fuel burn. And then obviously we have the problem of the supersonic boom. So it comes down to developing aircraft with better aerodynamics, building more efficient engines and designing better fuel mixtures. This is where the X-59 comes into play, and it's a collaboration project between NASA and Lockheed Skunk Works. Ultimately, it has a very quiet sonic boom, which amounts to an impressive 75 decibels, or as loud as a car door closing. This is achieved by using a long, narrow airframe with canards to mitigate the sonic boom. The X-plane should reach about Mach 1.5, and it's powered by a single General Electric F-414 at 22,000 pounds of thrust. Oddly enough, this aircraft is going to be used as a demonstrator and fly over major US cities to collect humidity data. So hopefully your windows do not get randomly blown out, but if everything goes well, that shouldn't happen. Anyways, this is a really important development because it's going to establish a sonic boom standard and it's going to lead to better designs for commercial supersonic travel. At number 6, the Spike S512. This is yet another smaller company working on a private jet design, so it's going to be highly dependent on financing. The S512 is probably one of the sleekest designs I have seen, capable of carrying 18 passengers at Mach 1.6. It has a range of 6,000 miles, so this means it can go from Hong Kong to London non-stop. One of the neatest things about this aircraft is that it has a multiplex display which offers panoramic views of the outside world. This means that it would use cameras instead of windows and reduce cabin noise by up to 20 decibels. Once again, the jet is being designed to have a low sonic boom of around 75 decibels, but there has been no set date for aircraft delivery. At number five, we are going to look at two different variants for the next Air Force One. Yes, the next generation presidential plane will be hypersonic. Well, at least that's what it's envisioned to be. The smaller company Hermes, has just been awarded a contract to develop a hypersonic passenger jet capable of Mach 5. This means you can fly from New York to Paris in about 90 minutes. Now they have already developed a prototype engine which incorporates a precooler on the front and a ramjet on the back end. But for now it's only being tested at Mach 3 speeds and it has to be scaled up. Anyways, the aircraft will have a 20 passenger capacity and a 4,000 mile range. We get to number 4 and it's a collaboration project between Virgin Galactic and Rolls Royce. 2020 is not really a year to remember, but surprisingly there have been a lot of supersonic startup projects. This particular aircraft is being designed to hit Mach 3 using a delta wing design. It's a bit smaller and it carries up to 19 passengers above 60,000 feet. Rolls-Royce has a long history in making aircraft engines, so I do expect more developments in relation to this aircraft in the very near future. That's number 3, the Arion. Now this was definitely an interesting aircraft to follow, and it has faced some hurdles along the way. Nevertheless, the business jet is still under development and it will carry 10 passengers up to Mach 1.6. The jet should be powered by three General Electric Affinity turbofans, which provide 18,000 pounds of force each. The aircraft should also have an impressive range of 4,800 miles. But more importantly, the company has claimed to develop a boomless cruise speed, which supposedly refracts off the caustic layer. But I would like to see confirmation on that. Anyways, the aircraft should cost around $120 million each and enter commercial service around 2026. But once again, this company is going to be heavily reliant on financing. That's number two, the Lapcat A2. 
This is probably one of the most extreme designs, and it's capable of carrying 300 passengers at over Mach 5.2. It will utilize four Shivatar engines, which are very similar to the Sabre engine, which is being developed by Reaction Engines. Naturally, these will incorporate a similar type of pre-cooler and a heat exchanger that transfers heat from incoming air into hydrogen fuel. Once again, this jet is going to be highly dependent on the development of the Sabre engine. The good news is, is that they seem to have drawn in a lot of interest and received financing from both the government and even Rolls-Royce now. It is worth noting that these companies are highly intertwined in the production of supersonic aircraft, and even Boom Aerospace has collaborated with the British engine builder, which brings me to the great number one. This is one of my favorite aircrafts because the company has already raised capital, and they have built a demonstrator aircraft. The XB-1 is at a one-third scale jet, which will go Mach 2 at over 1,000 miles. It's expected to fly very soon, but more importantly, the company is working towards a full-size jet capable of carrying 55 passengers. The craft will be powered by three turbofans with 20,000 pounds of force each. Once again, the aircraft will have a delta wing design and be built out of composite materials capable of handling the Mach 2 speeds. I do think the chances of this company delivering is pretty high, and they should deliver the aircraft within five years. So let me know what you think about these supersonic aircraft. Do you think they're all pipe dreams or is one of them going to actually make it to the market? So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.